our officials. You're talking about VAR as some sort of magnificent computer that's perfect in every way. <laughs> 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 well, that's Graham's view. How much it's, more it's, honest could he be in his challenge? It is a big... Mm. Episode 120 of A Touchline Run. Welcome. This week, do you want to know what we're talking about? I would love to, yeah. FA Cup, business. Business time. Yeah. On my head, son. We're going to look at the impact of headers. Yeah, on your head, son. We're going to look at headers. There's a, it, there's a lot of talking points. Head, 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 head. Headers and their impact. We're going to discuss that. But a look at some of our strangest transfers. We're going to reopen the doors to Kind Club once again. That's it. That's that this week. Have you got anything to add about this week's podcast? Oh, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, it's a little bit. Just play the music. <laughs> Why do you like the FA Cup? Oh, it's a proper football competition, isn't it? The FA Cup. Everyone loves the FA Cup, surely. It's a great chance for clubs of a lower level to compete against clubs. The little things are the heroes it produces. You see players playing out their skin. Yeah, you and do. And appreciating the big crowds, the excitement, the what ifs, and then the potential. I'm, I've prepared myself in the inevitability that and Liverpool could win the treble this year. They're phenomenal to watch. They're phenomenally exciting. If they get through a season without a, without a little blip, it'll be the greatest. Be, they, will be they will be super yeah. impressive. I say this. Uh, and I'm not being, you know, without a hint of sort of uh, exaggeration. They will be, if they go a whole season, only dropping that those two points to Man United, one draw, they will go down in history as the greatest top five side ever. For me, top uh, side, they will surpass who I believe the greatest squad side of all time, which is Barcelona and the Pep. Oh. Let's move on. That's <laughs> FA Cup. Business time. Picture the scene. I'm picturing. You're a, you're a professional football player. Your career spans what? Maybe five, ten years tops if you're lucky, if you're playing? If you're playing, well, look, at a professional level? Yeah. 15. Got... Very few players will compete at a high, the highest level for longer than, say, seven to eight years. So you got there and you're trying to, you're trying to start your own side hustle. You're trying to start your own little business on the side. Yeah. But the problem is you're contracted with a club. Okay, right, I see where you So going. that's the scene. Your player, I'll act as the owners, you're trying to start this media company, right? Your little yeah. side thing. Okay. You know, you're happy kicking a ball around. Yeah. Loving life. Yeah. Life on the pitch, being right. hailed back. <laughs> Bang, you're injured. Okay. You've got nothing else. You're out now. Contracts cancelled, done. You haven't got nothing. And you're like, oh, I wish I put more time into that business on the yes. side whilst I was playing. How would you feel? If my career was over. It's over. Long gone. I'm devastated. I should have mm. put more time into that little side, uh, you side see, business. But we signed a contract because I'm the business owner. Okay. I'm, I own the company. So the, the, the club. I don't want you playing that because you should be uh, focused. Barcelona yes. have stopped, banished any players from doing their side businesses, okay. which are away from football, so they're a distraction. Football careers are very short. Yep. They're very short. They're smashing grab when it comes to money. Mm -hmm. So players need to have another option available. I stand on the side of the players where I don't see how Bas. I can see why Barcelona would want them to do it, to concentrate. Mm -hmm. We know. see enough players now as well go through the football ringer, the football machine, about grabbing their best years and they don't forward plan, they don't forward think. That's why we see so many footballers in debt, bankrupt, struggling after their careers. Yeah. And, tr and trying to make something else because they weren't smart with their money. You know, it, it, I don't think it, if it doesn't interfere with them and the, then turning up because the realms of outside of work, outside when you're contracted to to be in in a place, it's the same with any job, right? That is your time in your own time. You can do what, what, whatever you wish. Yes, it's it, it's just a job at the end of the day. I fully side with the players on this over Barcelona. Mm -hmm. It definitely was your business. Wasn't it? 
Oh yeah, damn right. They're not doing what they want on my time. On me head, son. That's why we're going to talk about the reports of the damage and effects of Let's headers. Let's talk about brain injuries. Any kids playing under 12s can't hit the ball. You know what a concussion is? Yes. It's when your brain rattles around in your, in your, your, brain, in your brain box. And the jelly go, oh, rattle, rattle, rattle. like that. And yeah. so the jelly goes, rattles one way and your brain rattles the other. Yeah. Cushiony jelly that holds the brain inside the skull. Any sport that we enjoy is basically like a broken down hunting game, isn't it? Like you have to put the spear object into the net. Targets, that's what we're used to seeing. Yeah. What is on the line? Yeah. You're putting your body on the line. And numerous, what well, any any professional or any non-professional, whatever, if you play sport, you're putting your body on the line. Understanding that you'll give your all for that sport because that's what sport is about being competitive. Can't pull up tackles. It needs to be a war in itself and it needs to have aim and uh, targets to go along with that. This section is quite heavy. Yeah. Like a head, like a ball coming at me at speed. Yeah. Or how many times have we seen a clash of heads? We've seen that a lot. Oh, then that's a wincer in it. Whenever you see a, a proper clash of heads on telly, you go, and that's when it gets serious. And we know Everyone numerous, knows like. we know numerous uh, professional football players who have had to retire. But what impact and what cost and the cause and effect? A lot of people will listen to us talking about concussion and think, oh, it's just a bad headache or something. Concussion Bigger. is brain damage, and if it's not addressed correctly. Mm -hmm then it can lead to further brain damage. You can't ask him to play a game of football if he's got a brain injury. And it's your brain. It's the most complex thing in the universe. Yes. Let us sink in for a second. If you have a knockbang to the head, probably get it checked out. Yeah. There Don't just have paracetamol. How about that? Monitor it. Get it checked out. Google it. Maybe not Google it. Google. Anyway, that's my little brain injury, CTE, concussions in football, brain injury thing ticked off. Can you tick that off the list? Tick. We've swung open them doors, those big, beautiful doors of Kind Club again. That kindness that's generating from this club that we've created. You know we do Kind Club? Yes, very much so. I've just been saying about it 16 seconds. Will there be, like, the other side of Kind Club after we do Kind Club? What, Unkind Club? Unkind Club. We put unkind people in it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stay with Kind Club though. Yeah, Let's not good, get distracted. Good. Let's stay okay, on track. Okay, I don't want to go down a worm. Oh, Kind Club's my. Tell my, me something kind. Vincent Company, manager and captain of Anderlecht, and one of some of the Anderlecht fans threw a flare uh -huh. or a cracker, uh, like a firecracker, at Simon Mignolet. Mignolet. So he goes so in. So Vincent Company goes in for to Kind Club, but for in an angry way, looking after and protecting. His, he said, his stop goalkeeper. throw in the fireworks. It's his, dangerous. Let's not forget as well, it's also his national teammate. Brian Rice, head coach of Hamilton Academic. Yeah, ha Hamilton Academical coach Brian Rice has turned yes. himself in to the Scottish FA for breaching their gambling rules. But he turned himself in. Yes. And that, that is huge because, as you are well aware, we yeah. always bring up the state of gambling in this country and in this sport in particular, as it could be the demise of sport as we know it. Big John Hartson stepped in and said, look, I've been through it. I feel your pain. Let me know if you want to talk. Brian, yeah. stopped gambling on credit cards now. Which it's makes hard sense to put and credit I cards into Kind Club, though. Yeah, you're not welcoming in... A credit card. I'm worried about the data protection rules. So the fact that I don't have to induct every single one of them. Well, it's not the credit cards. Good. It's the people making the decisions to allow credit cards in. Gambling companies, which they need to take more responsibility in this, is a fine step. So I appreciate those little incremental steps in yeah. order towards what is an addiction. Yeah, fair enough. Vincent Company yeah. coming in. Hamilton Academical Head Coach Brian Rice. Right. Come on in. Not Do you in. think Brian Rice should only come in when he's beaten the addiction? No, let him in now. But he might, he might cause some... <laughs> some grief. <laughs> might have to put him in unclined kind club. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Brian Rice, <laughs> you're on alone. <laughs> what this Thank is. Thank you. 
the, okay, Brian oh, Rice suits me better. Brian actually. Rice is in on he's, a trial. He's, he's on trial. He's a, a trial. He's on he's, trial. With it's him. a six month. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see. How it goes. <laughs> for good behaviour, he could become a permanent resident. He could potentially. But for that, if he starts just, messing around he, with Chris Smalling yeah, he, and getting, yeah. you know, in the kind in kind club, I'm not having that. I'm not going to stand here and let him get Chris Smalling. Kicking in Brian it. Rice out. <laughs> Brian Rice will be going in. into unkind club. If I walk in and he's doing like dice, and he's got Vince and company on the dogs. Right, so Brian Rice, you're in on a sabbat- you know, you're in on a trial period. On that's trial, fine. it will. You are in review. Vincent we'll Company, you're review. in. Yeah. Kind club and and kind club coming <laughs> soon. But give Chris Wood no, some goddamn credit. He was being picked up. Give him some credit, yeah, please. Yeah, but he also he was being picked up. Oh, I finished though. Didn't look up this. <laughs> Just an end now. There we are. We've come to the end. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this, people of YouTube. Thank you very much for watching this. It is much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the like button, which is down this there somewhere. Subscribe. Um, subscribe, which is there, which is like the red button. Not, it says we're subscribe. Not, we're not going to edit that. Press that. Imagine there's a subscribe. It's not. It's not. And a like there. It's not. Oh, thanks for watching.